honestly, I wanted to start Stars of Tomorrow just to highlight kids who were uh, doing things outside of sports. Uh, I know a lot of times in this world, uh, entertainment is what usually catches the eye, but I wanted to really highlight kids who were doing good things for themselves, good things for the community. First episode, I'm excited to meet Judith. I have to apologize to her a million times because I was late. You know, hopefully I, I can make up for it with, with a fun interview. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm Zach. Nice to I'm meet Judith. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, so this is this is the spot, huh? Yes, this is our club. Our first guest was a young lady that goes by Judith. She's from Jefferson County. Uh, she is a super, super smart young lady. She had open heart surgery. Um, she was an immigrant. She's also Jefferson Citizen of the Year. And at 17, I feel like that's just an amazing, amazing accomplishment. You know, all the cards were turned against her, and uh, she pretty much just said, I will make it out of the situation that I am. What we got over here? So this is our, we're gonna be drawing ah, or painting. Okay. I'm gonna show you some of my Basquiat skills. Then. Yes. This painting by Jean-Michel Basquiat sold for $110.5 million. Yeah, I promise you. I'm actually colorblind. I'm not lying to you. So I don't know what colors I'm. I mean, I, I'm gonna know some of them. How did you? How did you even get into art? What sparked your interest? I think I just realized the beauty in everything at a really young age. Wow. And so I wanted to always like embody that. Mm -hmm. And so I thought like through my art I would be able to capture my favorite moments. I'm a big fan of art, but I was I'm I'm more into like music and like uh, you know, fashion and cars. I, I look at that stuff as art as well. I'm going to Academy of Art University. Oh yeah, yeah. so you really an artist. Like, <laughs> like you really do this. Wow. So aside from art, where do you get your sense of helping out in the community from? I think that's just been something I'm, I've always been interested in. Simply because we're living in this world that like isn't really ours. And so, <laughs> You are ahead of your time. <laughs> you are definitely ahead of your time. I just feel like we take a lot of the stuff that we have for granted and when we give back, we're kind of just like thanking the things that have helped us. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm definitely um, impressed with, with, with you having this mindset at your age, at such a young age. When I was one and a half, I had open heart surgery. Did you? Yeah, and so it was kind of like one of those things where I just learned to appreciate everything, but it's been kind of like something that has allowed me to be who I am, and so I think the only reason why I feel like I know a lot more like for my age is because I've experienced a lot, and so I've gone through a lot. You found a way to kind of fight through that and you didn't let that affect you at all and to tear you off your path at all. You're, you're, you're part of the young generation, but you're also part of the next generation. W what's your hopes for the next generation? Gain some passion. Mm -hmm. Passion in like what they do and how they do it and where they go in life. I think because simply a lot of the times we forget why we're here uh -huh. and we focus on just getting the money to like sustain living here. And so if we're able to find that passion, I feel like we'll be a lot more at peace and a lot more together. I'm just, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably the best thing y'all gonna see in this class in a really long time. Let me see what we got. Oh, wow. I mean, it's, it's a masterpiece. I like how she blended everything. Um, she didn't overdo it at all. And, the, and the, the color contrast is amazing. And this is coming from a guy who's colorblind. Yeah, come look at this masterpiece. All right. What do you think? Man, oh man. It's awesome. I like the texture. Like calm purple. Yeah. And then it's just like boom. And then it's just like, what, what, what were you thinking? You know what I'm saying? Right. 
because I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, the energy in here is just it's through the roof, and you know, I just I'm just I'm just excited and appreciative that you gave me your time and your story. I work with Von Miller. I work with Case Keenum. I work with you know Bradley Chow. I work with all these these household names, and then you meet a 17 year old that you know no one really knows who she is outside of her community and you're just taken back by all the things that she's accomplished. I also want to give cool. my pain. Oh, we got some more art, baby. <laughs> we got some more art, baby. This is definitely dope. I appreciate that. This is, this is cool. Enzo, you like this? <laughs> this is cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs>